forgot to unmute my mic for a second. <laughs> What's up, people? Afro Blade Master here for some more Pokemon Crystal. Just let me adjust the time code. Also, my help if I actually clicked on the game. Uh, another reminder for people who are just watching this first. Uh, I have a, a legal copy of the cartridge. That doesn't hold a save anymore. I have a virtual console version of the game on my 3DS that I can't capture because I don't have like 600 fucking dollars to buy a 3DS capture card. So I need to use an emulator. Like, I am looking into getting those, um... I am looking into getting those, uh... Like, one of those special screwdrivers. So I can open up the cartridge. And then getting batteries, so I can replace it. But... Every time... But every one of those, like, screwdrivers I find online is like, Oh yeah, it's gonna take two months to get there. And I'm, and I'm like, uh, no, thank you. I would, I would prefer it to be here. I would prefer it be here before the heat death of the universe. Plus, I think my sister's boyfriend has some that he, that he might be, that, he'll, that he's probably willing to let me borrow. Actually, yeah, let's switch. To Riza. But then again, Kurama could probably handle it despite Zubat probably having Leech Life. Because Leech Life is a bug move, which Grass is weak against. But literally until Sun and Moon, Leech Life was absolutely worthless. <laughs> Like, holy shit, it is worthless. It does, like, two damage and you get half of that back. There's an item there that I want to get. Yeah, we don't have repel the moment I fucking say it. I was going to say, we don't have repels yet, so, like, we're going to have to rough it. Uh, but yes, uh, we actually do want to battle this trainer. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, you know... Pardon? Battle? I'm on the phone. Oh, all right, we'll make it fast. We want to battle this trainer, because she will give you her number, uh, Picnic or Liz, and she is one of the... Tra and, but she is she's actually worth it, because she's actually worth getting the number, because she'll call you to battle. So it's basically one another, another like free bit of like like grinding like every once in a while. Well, random, well, random. Let's say randomly generated grinding because it's RNG to see if uh they call you or not. Which, by the way, is a pain in the dick sometimes. Specifically. Specifically because there are trainers who give you evolution stones. Which is the only way to get evolution stones in this generation. Except for maybe finding one or two somewhere somewhere or not somewhere or another. Oh, I've got to I've got to relieve my anger. <laughs> I was having a nice chat too. Oh? We're on a big journey to see the sights? Neat! Let's be friends. Can I have your num can I have your phone number? I want to hear about everything you've seen. Registered Liz is number. I'll telephone you if if I hear anything interesting. Um Yeah, unless you could find a couple just kind of out in the world. For the most part, very specific trainers are the only ones who will give you um We'll just battle this guy. Like, he's not required, but I'll just leave it in because I'm in the middle of something. Um... Specific trainers... 
like who you get the numbers from, will have a chance to give to ring you up saying, "Hey, I have an evolution stone. Hey, I have an item. Do you want it?" And these items are usually evolution stones. They could be other stuff, but they're usually the evolution stone. Which, like, can get really annoying, especially in my case, because my favorite Pokemon is Vaporeon. And I don't care how fucking stale it gets, whenever I play Pokemon, I have a Vaporeon on my team. Except for half the time with this game, because the guy who has the, who has the fucking, who will give you the fucking water stone never calls to give me freaking water stone. Ah, oh, that, that gets my goat. Gonna wander around in the grass for a little bit to see. Nope. Uh, looking for a. Sp uh, I'll I'll do that off screen. Uh, there's a specific Pokemon here that I want to catch. A uh, Wooper. Because it's a good substitute for uh, like it's a good Pokemon to have if you if you don't have another water if you don't want to use another water type. Because Wooper's evolved from Quagsire, I believe is Water Ground? Which basically makes its only weakness Grass-type, but it's super weak to Grass-type. Oh yes, and um, Reflect, I believe, increases either you, your, or your party members, or your entire team's defense for five turns, I want to say? Like, I usually keep it until I get Synthesis. Also, I'm going to show these bad... Oh, actually, I think after this battle, I'm going to cut the rest of the rest of these, uh, like, water-type trainers. Because, except... Because they mostly have... Because they pretty much just have, like, Poliwags and Magikarp. In fact, I think one of these trainers has just nothing but Magikarp. And I just want to get Kurama some VXP and... Did... Did this sprite not come all the way on screen? Joey! Again? We just fought you! I think that's actually one thing I noticed. I think on an emulator, he calls more often. Uh, but yeah, like, we're gonna fight this guy... ...and that guy. And you're just gonna do them both off-screen. Right, I'll... Like, I'll see you in a few. Just coming back real quick to say we got a first instance of a call from mom. And she bought us something with our money. She puts it in your PC. Uh oh. I think my controller just, just porked up. Hold on. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go battle the other trainer now. <laughs> See you guys in a few. Wow, all that last guy had was a single Pokemon. Bring on the time code. There we go. I'm gonna switch. Actually, yeah, let's put Hiei back in front. Hold on, can Ekans learn Flash? Nope. You know, I think I will actually uh, replace. Or just. Oh, yeah. Riza doesn't have four moves. I want to get this item up here, which I believe is a great ball. 
or a random encounter right before that. I mean, like, each one of these cuts is just going to amount to a few seconds. But I'm pausing the timer because, like, it'll, it'll build up. I'm gonna battle him later. How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious slowpoke tail? For you, right now, just one million polka dollars. Fuck you. And there's also a hidden great ball right here. Okay, honestly, I'm debating on what I want to do about skippable trainers. Like, if I should just battle them right there and cut them out or come back between recordings to fight them. Uh, I think I might come back. I think I might just fight them and cut it out. Because I am not. I am not going to fucking remember. Also, we might as well deposit felons too. Since I don't really plan on using him. Now, let's see what mom got us. Oh, she bought us a super potion. Okay, so I don't know if she get if she buys these um for the actual market value or if it's like uh, or if she gets them for cheaper or more or if they're more expensive. that up real quick. Okay. Uh, I, I, I might as well just leave this one in. But, yeah, like, I'm not sure. Like, I, I, I honestly have no fucking idea. Like, I assume that she buys it for what they're, for like, a uh, just like for what you for like whatever value the game has them set at but then there are some items I think you can only get from her buying stuff like so a couple hold items specifically I believe like, I want to say that's the only way you can get the silk scarf, though that might be in the remake. Could be wrong. Now I'll keep Reza out. Because basically both Riza and Hiei could pretty easily just sweep the next gem. But I want but I am gonna specifically try to use Hiei for it. Not really sure why, I just kinda am. Oh, uh completely unrelated to anything. But it is about a Pokemon but it is about something in the Pokemon canon, so I'm so it's fair game. I cleared the main story of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Hey, this is the place where I actually have to go, but we're going to save that for later. So, I technically beat the game, and I marked it off as such in my backloggery. But, now I got the post game, which is the bulk of the game. And. Alright, I also think we need to talk to this boy over right here. This is a great fishing spot. You saw you saw people fishing? How about you? Would you like one of my rods? I'm gonna ignore the the easy innuendo. <laughs> That's good to hear. 
No, you're an angler too. We got the old rod. I believe we can only catch Magikarp with this. Fishing is great. If there's water, be it the sea or a stream, try out your rod. Once again, ignoring the uh, the easy obvious innuendo. Okay, I I think I might just wander around this area for a bit. Because there is one Pokemon specifically I want to try to get. And I know it spawns in this version because I have it in the practice file on my DS that I've been... Kind of playing on and off for a couple years now. Like since it came, like since it came out on the 3DS Virtual Console. I'm specifically looking for a Wooper. Which I really like Wooper. Because you know, partly because you know, he's always looking he always looks like he's having a good time. Okay, uh, I already fought them. For some reason I always encounter them in this patch of grass. That's a bell sprout. I was actually about to say case in point. Okay, but I think I'll actually leave this in. So so like you guys can know what it's so just for the experience so you guys know what it's like to Like for the people who haven't played one of these old games. And are used to the newer ones. And just so you guys experience what it's like actually actively hunting for a Pokemon. Like a specific Pokemon. Which I'm going to be doing at several points throughout like this game. Uh, because when I get the Eevee unless it's a female Eevee, which is actually pretty rare I'm gonna want to catch a ditto so I can get a couple Eevee eggs that way uh, you know that way I can have a couple low-level Eevees ready for when I uh, for when I actually get a water stone that way I can evolve it as soon as physically possible and, you know, have a, uh... So it has access to the earlier moves. Which... I could be wrong, but I think in this one... When the eggs hatch, they're level 5... I don't know, I could be completely freaking off base with that. Cause like it might be a it might be a personal case of the Mandela effect. Because I could swear when the eggs hatched when I was a kid, they were level five. I almost said fifth level because I play entirely too much D and D. But did, do whoopers just not spawn at this time of day? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they spawn during the daytime. Like, it's not morning. Or at least it fucking shouldn't be. Because morning ends at 10 a.m. And it's 4 p.m. Is it just one of those things where it's like, oh hey, you have, oh hey, you, like, the planets have to fucking align for you to run into one? Because I don't remember it ever being this annoying. Mm -hmm. 
Also, I'm surprised there's this many hop ips out, because they're usually like a morning thing. Which is why I was like, is it actually morning, even though it shouldn't be in game? Well, it's actually about time to it's actually about time to end it. So, uh we'll end the episode here. And I'm going to look this up. Catch one off screen and battle that trainer off screen. And then in the next one we're going to jump into Union Cave, all right? Uh this is Af all right, see you guys next time. This is Afro Blade Master. Logging off.